Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Tuesday. It is 35 degrees, cloudy. It froze last night. Uh, the high today is only supposed to be like 36. And I'm cold, but I am uh, I'm exposing myself to the elements for the benefit of YouTube. Here are what I call tissue sickles, frost flowers. Who dumped these tissues all over my yard? The first time I saw these, that's what I thought happened was somebody dumped a bunch of tissues or they blew in the way. I don't know where they, but you look closer and those are little ice formations. And officially, I believe they're called frost flowers. And uh, but I call them tissue sickles because I thought they were tissues the first time I saw them. And what this uh, this plant is called the frost weed. It has a hollow stem that goes down into the earth a little ways, so the warm, moist air from underground comes up through that hollow stem, and it hits the freezing air at the surface and just uh you know a slow steady uh stream of warm moist air coming up creates these little these little icicles and they're the coolest little things with you know they're kind of like snowflakes everyone is different and they're all over the place here that's one of the benefits of not uh now weed eating everything in sight. The birds are also loving the loving the weeds. Yeah, those things are pretty cool. Uh, something else that's pretty cool is number two. Uh, she's my hen. There were hens here when I that were left from the previous owner when I got here. And uh, they were on their own for a few months. Nobody living here, feeding them, giving them water, nothing. She's one of the original four that were here uh, when I moved here. And uh, so yeah, number two, she's pretty cool. No clue what breed she is, uh, probably a barnyard mix. There are no breeds that look like her, so she is definitely a barnyard mix. Probably has some game hen in her, a little bit more wild uh, type uh, personality. And she does go broody, which is also, yeah, some, and anyway. Number two is pretty cool. She, uh, she got her allotment of corn but that didn't keep her from begging. So she was like following me around and uh, I snapped some pictures. You already got your corn allotment for the day, number two. I'm not giving you any more treats. In fact, you should go back in with your flock. You want me to take some pictures?
Yeah, number two is pretty cool. Uh, and it's still cool outside. Oh yeah, got everybody taken care of. Little uh, Took a little breaks to go inside warm up. Yeah, I know, it's like 36. It's not even below freezing and people are like, dude, you're spoiled in Arkansas. Yes, I am. I grew up in Illinois though. So I, yeah, I've, you know, we've had feet, several feet of snow on the ground, uh, you know, a week or more below zero temperatures up in Illinois. So yeah, uh, I, I dig the Arkansas winters. And what else was I gonna tell you? I don't know. Oh, the water started working again. So yeah, it warmed up finally. Even at 35 degrees, it warmed up enough to for the water to go through the hose. So I'm all I'm all set. Chickens are all set, and this might be it for today because it is cold. It's time you know cook some chili and uh, take a nice long winter nap. And uh, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Thanks for watching. Take her easy, everybody. Fifi ain't no fool. She knows a nice, cozy place to be. Yeah, sweet dreams, Fifers. Grumpy, you're an Indiana cat. You should be used to these cold temperatures. He went outside for like 20 minutes and now he came right back in. Usually he stays out all day, but I get you, Grump. That's a good way to warm up your nose, Bob.